Hi there, guys. God bless you. And uh, thank you for joining us. Got an interesting article for us to be looking at today. Uh, this one is titled, I am a proud conspiracy analyst. And here's why. Going to be looking at some clips uh, around some conspiracies. Uh, we've all experienced this mocking and scoffing, have we not? And uh, also experienced firsthand where governments have come out and said one thing and then lo and behold, we've sort of like called it in advance and then all of a sudden it comes to uh, fruition. So we've got quite a lot for us uh, to be looking at regarding uh, those sort of like conspiracy clips. We only have to be thinking around sort of moon landings. Uh, especially with uh, photography, the fact that there was no sort of like crater underneath the uh, shuttle with the flag also seeming to move uh, in the wind, as well as uh, a few other things with lighting, as well as obviously the sounds and the propulsion of those uh, rocket launchers as it touched down would have been so deafening. Uh, there's no way that they would have had like a, a feed of that sort. So putting it all together, uh, there's been quite a lot of that. We've probably been titled this, have we not, as being conspiracy theories, theorists, and uh, those of us that wear tinfoil on our hats. And so I guess today's uh, sort of like live is our response to that. And uh, with the clips that are going to be uh, sort of like included uh, with a good uh, particular reason. So going to start by looking at Joel 2.12. Not sure why, but the Lord continues to have us keep looking back at this verse. Uh, so uh, Joel 2.12 through 18, go look into that. And then the article itself, I'm a proud conspiracy analyst, uh, and uh, here's why. Uh, then there's the montage, and then we'll look at some of those clips with the gospel as well. And so here we go with Joel 2, and it's uh, chapter 12 uh, through to 18. Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your hearts, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. And he relents from sending calamity. Who knows? He may turn and have pity and leave behind a blessing grain offerings and drink offerings for the lord your god blow the trumpet in zion declare a holy fast call a sacred assembly gather the people consecrate the assembly bring together the elders gather the children those nursing at the breast let the bridegroom leave his room and the bride her chamber let the priests who minister before the lord Weep between the temple porch and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord. Do not make your inheritance an object of scorn, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? Amen. So beautiful, isn't it? The bride and the chamber. And uh, this is what we're asking for, isn't it? Where are you, Lord? We read, don't we, in Peter, around the mockers and the scoffers, going to be covering uh, some of that. Uh, and so uh, good to have you with us, guys. Good morning, uh, Sherry. Thank you for being here. Great to have you with us. And uh, blessings to you. Thank you for what you do. Hi, Aaron. Uh, good to have you with us. And our Paula uh, is here as well. Good day there, Stephen. Good to see you. Uh, great to have you uh, with us. And so uh, let's uh, sort of like tuck into the article a little bit because it sort of like sets the tone, I suppose, for the uh, montage uh, music wise and the clips just put together there for us. Um, and then obviously the conspiracy clips as well, just to highlight some of this, because what you'll find as well, isn't it, guys, is that you'll have on, you know, our videos and, you know, many other platforms as well, you'll have these sort of Wikipedia fact checking things there when you discuss anything relating to you know covid or the climate or the new world order it would seem and a few other subjects they seem to sort of like really do 
jump on the bandwagon of that in order to really steer the audience or those that are there in advance of, of the narrative and pretty much to refute what, what the content is that the creators literally put together. It's their way of doing it. And, you know, we've we've discussed, haven't we, around the, the fact checkers that are all funded by Google and, uh, you know, it's apparent third party nonsense is absolutely, you know, a hoax, uh, as we're going to see with some of the montage clips around Biden, around the World Economic Forum and around Microsoft literally having these sort of like armies of, you know, tech uh, engineers out and about literally being so disruptive uh, as much as they it can possibly be. And also like the clips as we're going to find out around, uh, you know, these guys saying it yourself. So when it comes to the term new world order got a clips there where they're clearly discussing this this isn't something that we've literally coined a phrase or term ourselves and just invented this is something that they themselves are going by other clips here as well when it comes to ursula von der Leyen and her literally declaring and celebrating the club of rome club of rome which we've been told in the past is a conspiracy theory you know, these guys don't exist as the Tavistock Institute, as all these other things as well. We also have to go when it comes to being conspiracy theorists in and around what we're able to decipher relating to being, you know, children of the light and those that are awake as well. Being able to decipher the predictive programming that the beast system puts out and uh, everything of that sort of like, you know, sense, isn't it? The, the grooming, the telling in advance because they think it's bad form otherwise. Uh, so that sort of like predictive programming uh, is also there, isn't it? As like Joseph was saying, in and around things, you know, the early warning systems, telling people in advance, grooming the population through movies and media and all of these sort of scary things. We're seeing it take shape, aren't we? Conspiracies that we end up now seeing coming to fruition. Again, we've got Klaus Schwab saying that there's going to be a major cyber attack. And then look at what Obama's movies all around as well. Look what's happening with certain infrastructures as well as people are saying oh yay let's all get signed up to this technology as well and when we've reported here around the uh, contents of certain things uh, which is on the box that you can read and find out for yourself you get silenced and you get told that that's literally what it is that you are the greatest threat according to Klaus Schwab coming out of Davos this year was about, you know, the, the fear around, uh, you know, misinformation and all of that sort of like nonsense. And yet these guys have the audacity to turn around and discuss things with trust and that you're not safe unless you're vaccinated or perhaps there's this sort of like pandemic that's going to be there or this cyber attack that's going to be there and just keeping the fear level really there so that you're dependent on them and the particular system. And so what has been called out in advance, more often than not, has come to fruition, as you know, that's been literally followed. And so in a sense, the bride and the church, the ecclesia, especially those that are watching, that are awake, don't have those eggs on our faces anymore. We don't have that, those labels, and that sort of like, you know, ridiculing and mocking and scoffing and alienating and the sort of like exclusion that seems to happen because of how it is that we are how the elites and the government then create this them and us you know in a sense and then demean and ridicule in that particular uh way all the while just character assassinating those that have a mind to ask some questions can look at some evidence or you know as it turns out it happens to be similar to things over in Maui. Would we'd have to mention the direct energy weapons and what happened there? And then all of a sudden, you've got Zuckerberg and others that are just building these uh, sort of like apocalyptic bunkers and things. And that was also part of that. And then being told that yes, there's this assault on agriculture as well. As then all of a sudden, these nations all surrender and give it up, and being told to cull their animals and we're not allowed to to grow all of these things these guys are the conspirators we are the ones that analyze that and weigh and measure that up and dig into that and find the evidence and it's not too hard to find that evidence when it comes directly from them 
And so when you have these individual peoples, like you have the, you know, the, the Emmanuel Macron speaking about the necessity for a new world order, talking about the jungle, as is their new world order, as in we're the ones that need them to be all tamed and that they're the kings, as did Bush as well. And then you've got others like the EU, so the World Economic Forum president, and then other think tanks coming out and saying this. Additionally, guys, there's a clip here. I'm not going to ruin it for you, but it's important that we talk about it and not just fly over the stuff and think, oh, that's a good clip. Because there's a clip here in and around Rishi Sunak being grilled uh, by someone mentioning the deep state. And this is all a conspiracy that we've been told is there, isn't it? Oh, just a conspiracy. I'm sorry, I beg to differ. When you have Klaus Schwab coming out with himself, infiltrating democracy, as he turns around and says, I'm really proud that we infiltrate them. And look at the Canadian government and look at the you know, New Zealand government. Look at Putin was there and Zelensky and Macron and the, and the UK and let alone every other thing else that they're saying. It's not a conspiracy when they say it themselves it's not a conspiracy when world economic forum klaus schwab turns around and says around taking technology and how that can change you it changes you if you take the gene editing is what he says that's not us putting it in we've lost channels and had videos being taken down because we have told them the truth. This is like the revelation of the method, and we've exposed it for what it is. Bill Gates is another prime example of, 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 of him saying something and then us literally were giving it to you saying, this is what he said, and even that was not permitted. As you'll see here, these tech giants take great pride in the fact that they're the ones that can control speech, that they control what people do and what people think that they're sort of like really gloating also around how that they can coerce and sort of like dominate and meddle with with elections of this particular stuff and seeing all of this these individuals that are all part and parcel of the beast system who literally bow down to it at every opportunity that they can or market it and so when it comes to oh it's just a conspiracy theory Please tell that to the World Economic Forum logo that has 666. OK, please say around the World Health Organization and the pharmacia and the serpents and the Baphomet imagery there, please. And all of that sort of like dodginess, including the UN. How about CERN? Can we discuss that 666? And doesn't it look quite interesting how the CERN 666 looks like some form of a eclipse at the moment as well? Here they are smashing up particles and looking for this, that and the other, opening up portals for the demonic. No doubt. Uh, we've got all of this and, and the logos galore. Nickelodeon also turning around and, you know, refuting that God exists. These different logos that will have 666, the Walt Disney's. We could go on and on and on with them flipping off their hands, relating to this cult that they're all a part of in Hollywood, in the movies, in the industry, coming up with all these rituals, sort of like killings as things, as children, and all of those sort of like lists and numbers go flying through the roof. The paedophilia ring and everyone seems to sort of like get exposed. But hilarious, isn't it? How none of these Epstein individuals ever get you know brought to justice. That's fascinating, isn't it? So whoo, let's have some of did we do the did we did the um I'm a proud, yeah, we did. All right. Let's do some clippage. Um, let's do some conspiracy clips. And just like rip it up, rip off the bad aid, the band aid. It's like, I ain't saying this, y'all saying this. So, y'all want to take this video down, you want to do that, that's on you. That just that just doubles up what we're talking about, and you're kind of stepping on our points. So, here you go, guys. Nothing but love. Abbott. <laughs>
mentioned your predecessor when she uh, says she was undermined by, quote, the, the deep state. Yeah, I think that's probably a question for her rather than me. But I'm just keen, keen to hear your view, Prime Minister. Is, Sorry? is, there, is there a deep state? Or are you part of it? Am I part of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably a question for her. <laughs> not, I probably wouldn't tell you if I was, well, would I? No, no, no. no, 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 no I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, <laughs> and we, we wouldn't tell anyone else no, either. I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell anybody else either, Sir Bernard, if I was. So. If we look back, a little over 50 years ago, the Club of Rome, the Club of Rome, the Club of Rome, and a group of MIT researchers published the Limits of Growth report. Look at the hands. It mapped the interaction between population growth, the economy, and the environment. And it came 50 years ago to a drastic conclusion. Stop economic and population growth, <laughs> or else our planet will not cope. Why don't you swear in the Bible that you walked on the moon? Why don't you swear in the Bible that you walked on the moon? So, did you, did you tell him to get out of here? This is, this is a hotel. We'll call right, we, the police. We, we pay. Come on in here. We'll call the police. Like why don't you swear in the Bible that you walked on the moon? I, it doesn't, sir. I don't have nothing to do with this. Okay. Phenomenons taking place globally in the skies, which we believe is a cosmic war happening in and around our planet and solar system. We also believe these beings are battling over who can claim Earth and its inhabitants. Researchers and historians acknowledges a cosmic war that took place in our galaxy ages ago, and the winner of the war captured Earth and altered the DNA of Earth's inhabitants. Discussions I ever had in my professional career was in New York City in 1984, and I got a phone call in my office one day from a man. We had a discussion about the ancient civilizations on Earth, including the Garden of Eden, that had nothing to do with Homo sapiens sapiens. It all had to do with extraterrestrials and extraterrestrials that were in war. I was shocked at the level and depth at which this man told me details tying our ancient civilization to extraterrestrials who warred with each other and that we ourselves may be concerned about the return of any of them. In a previous video on our page, we gave you a glimpse of the huge faces overlooking the Earth and Moon. My theory is, these faces are the cosmic beings warring for our planet, and it seems our government and the mainstream media are both covering it up. Well, we at Night and Day Network have been on the case, stockpiling these videos to conduct our own investigation with your help. This first clip shows lightning taking a life of its own, as it burst from a volcanic-shaped cloud in the sky overlooking a European city street. My theory is, as the cosmic battle commence in our solar system, we will continue to see these energetic phenomenons in the sky, due to the fact these beings use quantum energy weapons and force fields. In this next clip, there are three luminaries rising up in Kazakhstan all at once. I believe there are not suns, but starships. These beings travel throughout the cosmos in these light ships, and the closer they get to their destination, they materialize into what we see as flying saucers. That explains this next video. We see flying saucers materializing and hovering over a city. And here's Fairbanks. In Hezarkani, as the plane enters the tower, the engines turn into puffballs. We are to believe that these are the engines themselves, or building materials, or something. But whatever the puffballs are meant to represent, 
Notice that they are clearly underneath the wings, as the engines were. Now, look at the Fairbanks video. The location of the wing entrance can easily be marked, and obviously the puffball is well above the left wing. The over-under puffball is irreconcilable with reality, but has an easy explanation in video compositing. The mask was in the wrong place. This is an historic moment. We have in this past year made great progress in ending the long era of conflict and Cold War. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a new world order, a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world. We have order. a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founder. These are, there are two orders in this world. This is a huge mistake. Even for both the US and China, we need a single global order, a single global order. Now is the time when things are shifting. We're gonna, there's gonna be a new world order. There's gonna be a new world order out there. And we've got to lead it. We've got to unite the rest of the free world in doing it. The order anymore, we are on the way to a new order. Way so. to a new order, so we are between orders. Uh, do you agree with that? Or are there ways of uh, what are we able to keep on the positive side from the old order to bring into a new world order? World order, and how can we avoid that that new world order uh, becomes like a jungle growing back and we rather uh, have uh, order based on international law and the principles that have brought us prosperity and uh, freedom uh, for decades? I guess and maybe this is the, the old um, kind of teacher in me coming out. I think of this a little bit more about a transition of eras rather than a transition of orders, but the two are kind of cousins of one another. The video, if you go back, a, a boat crash here, but you can see dynamite being let off at every single point. I'm going to do it again. So we have here, 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 charges, boom. Search silver iodide on Google, just those words, silver iodide. And like the first thing that comes up is, it's a crystalline material often used for weather modification applications, such as cloud seeding. It's like, people still think chemtrails aren't real. They still think they aren't spraying stuff. It's just like, they're open about it. It's not even up for debate at this point. Like, nothing is natural anymore. You can't just say, oh, there's a sickness going around. Gosh, everybody catching is like, well, is everybody catching a, a sickness that's going around? Or has everybody had their immune system destroyed? You're under attack. Uh, is the weather a little bit muggy? Or are the people that are controlling the weather making it muggy? Your sickness isn't natural, the weather isn't natural, your food isn't natural, your water isn't natural, nothing is natural anymore. You are under attack from every different angle. At what point do you stand up and fight back and just tell these world manipulators that they aren't God and they don't get to decide what the weather is anymore? I've had this, but I've had people throw millions of dollars in my face to do something I didn't want to do. And what? just, you've been off, yeah. Oh, they're in the room. Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. That was my way of yeah, cueing you. Like, it's open dialogue. Yeah. You want me to keep talking about by, it? By all means, let's, we can keep talking about anything. But. <laughs> but don't do it. Yeah. I just, I, so yeah. It's, no. Jamed. <sighs> Crazy. Let's see what you guys got to say about all of that. God bless you. God bless you, bless you, bless you. God bless you, hug you, squeeze you. Right, where are we at? Crikey, O'Reilly. You guys are having a good old night, haven't you? Oof. Let's see who's in the house. Hi there, Bill. Yeah. Hi there, Bill. To Bill or not to Bill. Hi there, our Paula. Bless you. Great to see you. Yeah, absolutely. Mockers and scoffers. Absolutely. 
that's going to just put an end to all of it. I mean, as the as the sort of like jaws hit the floor moment, you know. Yeah. Ah, oh, bless you. Hi there, Crimson. Bless you. Good to have you with us. Hi there, Elk. Great to see you. You all guys coming in and, and saying hi. Great to have you with us. Yay. Yeah, absolutely. There's no backup, guys. If they slap us down for a week, we'll just have a week off, but we'll go on other platforms. Uh, um, sort of like we're on loads of different platforms at the moment. Um, sort of like we're on Facebook, guys. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on Rumble. We're on Telegram. And we're on here as well. And I think there's somewhere else where we're, we're, we're um, uh, sort of like Discord. So we're all on those places. But I'm really struggling with trying to link all of those things to here because of like logging details the other end where it was set up so i'm really struggling to do that so if they do that then i can't really do much i'll have to sort of like touch base with one of you know you guys that have channels and let you know where we're going to be if, if we lose that but i don't know if they're going to allow us to set up another sort of um, backup channel anyway but um yeah bill's quite right there um there's a lot over on our telegram channel these clips will be there as well for you so if they take down the whole video then that's fine the clips stay um and then they can get recirculated just as the clips that they are which is just a lot better for you guys hi there aaron bless you oh bless you mate nothing but love for you welcome hi there share good to see you oh no sorry apologies up to you for that hi our peter and laurie bless you guys welcome 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 great to have you with us please do sub to our peter uh doing some great work over there yeah that's uh quite right there our bill no notice youtube's default on all our choices recommend is their agenda to push disinformation absolutely and then they will hilariously turn around and just say won't they bill mate you know, oh, what do you think of this video? Asking us for our recommendation as if we care. Don't you also just find, can we just like just say how needy all of this technology has all of a sudden become? It's like if you're listening to music within like two, like 10 minutes, five minutes, it will stop working. As if like, you know, are you, are you still there? Are you still there? I haven't got your attention. You know, you haven't touched me in like about five minutes. And do you know what I mean? It's like stuff like that. Or, you know, you haven't suffered. And just to save the earth, the whole thing will just shut off. It's like, what? Do you know what I mean? Just ridiculous. So, yeah, they're doing all this sort of stuff. And we ain't bothered. They mess around with the views. It's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Their math. <laughs> they do it to our pleader they do it to our paula they do it to all of these other channels as well and they're starting to spread that across the board unbelievable but now you want to talk about puking and throwing up a rainbow man and that false narratives um then you can go off and have a nice little sort of like you know four or five hundred million views hilarious hi there mevanar bless you mate good to see you hi david Ah, oh, bless you, mate. You guys having a go, Jibber Jabber? So yeah, wonder what you think of those clips. Trying to find a message. Yeah, that's a good point there, uh, Paula. Yeah. If the rapture doesn't happen April 8th, the Christians who don't believe in the rapture are going to start quoting 2 Peter 3, mocking and scoffing like never before. This is it. And we don't know. We don't know that. I mean, we don't know. We go through these high watches, don't we? And it's only right to see that when you have these high watches, they also then end up to sort of like be bookended with like calculations. That's one thing. Then you see the global scene and the elites and the new world order, which we've just shown clips of, which is one world government, one world religion and one world currency. And we're seeing all of this being rolled out before our eyes. Do you know what I mean? It's just like crikey O'Reilly. There's no doubt that we put two and two together and come up with that. But we don't put everything in and around that either. We have to operate in that sort of like immediacy, but also sort of like, you know, going about trying to do some degree of living. But there will be that. But us declaring, nevertheless, this is it not, that, you know, Jesus is coming soon. 
and that you know you, you need to repent and you need to be walking in relationship with him or this is what's going to be coming upon the earth and this is what that, that they have the elites the global elites the deep states those that literally dominate and infiltrate world governments and you know will will sort of like infiltrate them so they carry out their demonic evil agenda we've only got to go to canada and what trudeau is doing and then new zealand and china and israel other places that we've been looking at and covering have we not around all of this sort of like stuff so it's all starting to come together they will mock and they will scoff because deep down for me i suspect that they don't really know what to make of that the only reaction that they have is to make fun of it they don't understand the longing and the ache and the disappointment that sometimes we will end up going through that high and that low but we're talking about some you know something for us which is so personal so precious that moment when the lord calls us home when he beautiful beautifully no doubt will call us home and go up you know and call peter come up here Paula, come up here. Mayor, come up here. Cher, come up here, my child. Can you imagine all of that? That beauty of all of it? That's what we long for. That's an eternity that we have with him. That's our joy. And so if it doesn't happen, then it's another day. It's another bit of the puzzle. So there isn't that need for scoffing. And then there's not that too many people, especially in our community, who are being so, you know, precisely dogmatic about this. Thus says the Lord. And this is it. They're not being tentative when it comes to the eclipse, being tentative when it comes to, oh, that's interesting, isn't it? That that just crosses over a place called the rapture and all, all of the Ninevehs and everything of that sort of like, you know, sort of like connection. And then there's seven years and good grief, you know, it's, it's only understandable when we relate that back to what happened with Jonah and Nineveh and the eclipse and the sign that went before them as well. We're looking at really, I suppose, what's going to be coming in after that event, April 8th, because that seems to be the case, doesn't it? Will there be that yielding? Is this it? But there's definitely sort of like that sense of anticipation that the bride has, but also the unchurched have around something just a literally about to go off the deep end. Could it be like a sort of like black swan event, a false flag event? Could it be something of that sort? Could it be also that the Lord's like, no, -uh, not going to allow any of those things to sort of like steal this moment that's going to be happening? Is that why they're literally having all of these particular fuses? They're literally sort of like, you know, having a never ending sort of like, you know, fuse end to them, you know, just so that on, on our sort of like departure, they can just come up with this false narrative. But that's part and parcel of that, isn't it? Of like standing up and confessing and professing that you are a Christian, that you belong to him. That's part of that also in what we do when we witness and we share the love of the Lord Jesus and we share the gospel. That's also what we do when we exercise our gifts and our spiritual gifts or the areas of, of, of attention or parts of the body of Christ that we are that focus on M times eschatology. And that's OK just in as much as it's okay that someone else does something else as a part from that. There shouldn't be that demeaning and that sort of like superiority complex with different aspects. As the Lord says, why should the hand wage war with the foot or, you know, there or thereabouts? So the mocking and the scoffing will happen. And that's fine. The vindication is going to be there, sadly for us. When that trumpet does sound, the cry of command and the Lord in his majesty and all of his glory and beauty is there. That's going to be what is so sad about it. That 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 sense of I pity them. I feel sorry for them, not only because of, like this is how they're behaving. This is how they're mocking. You know, could you imagine what it must have been like for some of those, you know, people when they were like jeering at the Lord Jesus at the cross, mocking and scoffing him and all of the things that were happening in that particular time and what it must have been like for them when they stood before him, how that conversation panned out for them. Well, this is what's going to be occurring now, is it not? As they're facing the consequence partly because of the refusal to submit to the Lord Jesus uh, and metanoia and repent from unbelief to belief and calling on his name and believing in the finished work of the cross. 
and also to be watching and waiting expectantly as we were commanded to be doing. And so it's a case of a frustration for us because we are marginalized, we are alienated and segregated, but that's part and parcel of who the Lord has brought us to be, I think, as free thinkers, as those that look outside the box, who weigh up the evidence, who are Bereans, who do use the skills that God's given us and ask some questions. And we come up with some of that. And so that's part and parcel of who it is that the Lord has made us. So, yes, it will continue and it will happen. But sadly, at their own expense. That's what's so sad about it. Yeah, they are getting really good at the deception, but it's coming out, isn't it now? You know, Revelation 17, 13 says they are all of one mind and in it and they give their power to the beast, but they don't overcome, you know, because the Lord just decimates all of them and we return with him. Words to the effect. Ah, oh, bless you, mate. All for the king. Absolutely. We were saying around the other live the other day relating to these big signs and the digital public infrastructure and everything that we've been able to expose. People don't understand that when they're just saying, oh, yeah, this is really great. I can have like a Jedi mind trick with this stuff and I can play Mario Kart with my brain and all that sort of stuff. And they're not thinking about the two way components They're not thinking about this sort of stuff. And it needs to be said. People need to be turning around and just saying, you know what? You know what happens about with us exposing certain things? And uh, then all, all of a sudden come into fruition. What about the things that the watchmen and the watchwomen and community have said all in advance relating to the warnings that have also come to pass? What about that? That's the vindication. Stands a lot more in standing than perhaps Al Gore and the fact that there'll be no North and South Poles and all of the other climate predictions, all sort of like 41 of them since 1967. And they're still coming out with the BS. Unbelievable. They want to put their, they want to put their, you know, that their confidence into all of that looking at all of the things that the beast system is doing and exposing them ephesians 5 11 as we do and they're still in denial you know yeah absolutely the hilarity of it are you kidding me you know it's just like the lying and this and it's a lying it's a deception isn't it because they serve the father of all lies. It was Nasamine, lie after all. Absolutely. T minus everything. Satan, come on. It's all there for those slithering idiots. To do with that. <laughs> See, I've got an amen out of one of them, not they know. <laughs> oh, bless you. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's it, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Whiskey, tango, foxtrot. <laughs> you know, sometimes it used to be said, doesn't it? Oh, you haven't tech issues, mate. I hope you've got your tech issues sorted out, mate. Absolutely, share. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and on the third day, come on. Come on, on the third day, he rose again. Come on and have it. Take that death. Oh, hi, Catherine. Good to see you. Bless you. But listens to you and yours. Yeah, that's how we do. That's how we do. That's how we do. You know? You can't be on the wall and just say, oh, hang on a sec, you know, and just have that editorial control. We've got to call it out for what it is. Immaterial, not to be caught up with the fear or the consequence of man. Seriously. Ha! A laugh in the face of danger. Ah, oh, Bubba's in. Oh, come out with that. Look, look. New World Order backwards is own exactly what they have planned to own the earth dwellers and by the wef spell that in reverse by the few there we go <laughs> our work here was done bubba let's go <laughs> bye we've sorted it we sussed it that's the final piece come on lord surely yeah thank you thank you for putting that up our sherry bless you 
Yeah, exactly. Come on, that's a bit you dodge, isn't it? A bit suspect. You wait for the portals that come flying out, and that's great for the environment. We love that, don't we? And then all these bits of architecture, like there, all of their solar panels and all of their buses that all seem to like burn up and explode electric car wise, and really great and environmentally friendly and very, 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 very much biodegradable. Do you know what I mean? Awesome pieces of kit. 666 or oh, that bad boy you come on really surely you would just be like oh great yeah they do they do this sort of science and then you'd be like huh how about that logo i'm out of here surely at some point <laughs> no no what else you're saying here we're gonna have some montage in a minute Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. They can have this planet. You can have it, son. I'm telling you. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm with like Bill Paxton from like Aliens. Let's just nuke it from orbit as we go up. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm a lad. You know, probably be the kindest thing to do. Oh, oh, he probably will. Crikey, can't do anything nowadays, can you? With like the thought police, you know, someone sitting there over every single word. Oh no, he said a word. Oh my goodness, <clears throat> we've been exposed. It's just like, come on, man, seriously, I don't care about them. And the thing is, it's like actually, it's for them that are the censors, it's for those that are the conspirators, those that are going to be left to face all of this, that all of this is for. And then you want to silence that? It's just like, really? That's just like, you know, you're bleeding out somewhere on the battlefield and you're crying out for a medic. And one comes running out there, do you know what I mean? Taking all sorts of like, you know, shrapnel and all sorts of like lead their way just to get to you. And then the pillock turns around and just like plops one and starts shooting at you. Thanks for that, mate. <laughs> Man down. Unbelievable. But that's what they're doing, is it not? Yeah, absolutely. These guys are, come on, you know that they are. You know that they're doing their rituals behind all of that, trying to mess with the veil, trying to sort of like thin that and everything's being whispered and, you know, spoken to them in that way. They don't have to do that. You can just do that by sort of like voluntary demon possession and all that kind of stuff as well. But opening up all of this, what does the Bible say around scorpions and pits of hells being all opened up and let alone things that have been hovering over the White House and that's still sort of like lurking various things and imageries that's been placed as we saw just some of those clips we could we could have been there forever guys couldn't we with the length and duration of everything that they like to put underneath the carpet oh now all of a sudden ufos aliens uh -huh, you're one of those sorts of individuals and then they're having u.s congress meetings about it all it's like huh how about that Yeah, we love our bill. Please do uh, go over to uh, Voice of Reason, our bill there. Anna, Bubba, Anna, Peter. you got a channel. Just put your stuff up here, guys. Bless you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I did that for my A-levels. I just lost the will to live. Absolutely did. Never looking at that ever again. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely there, uh, Rebecca. Absolutely. So ready for home. So ready for home. This is it. It's just like, this is also what the Lord has done, is he not? He's turned around and made it so, yeah, that we're not going to be homesick. We ain't going to be crying off up to him saying, oh, Lord, I miss my house. I miss my home. I, I miss my life. I miss the earth. <laughs> you kidding me? The Lord's made that pretty much the case that we ain't going to be, you know, feeling sorry about nothing, leaving everything behind. Come on. Isn't that what we're going to be doing? absolutely the readiness that he has preparedness for us how we also feel not just because of what he shows us not just because of what what it is that we we, we might even see 
but it's more of a case of what it is that we sense and what we feel in the same way that we sense and we feel his presence the holy spirit within us we feel that calling we feel that urgency we feel that longing we feel that beaconing our true north we feel like we're just gravitate gravitating and just dialed in to the lord and that he is starting to you know increase that sense of volume in our hearts and our spirits if he's on his way telling us and reminding us to hold on stirring us and keeping us there to keep exposing the light and the evil because it doesn't want to be exposed it doesn't want to be sort of like revealed it wants to operate in the seedy shady corridors of power it doesn't want to be held up to honesty and integrity and scientific evaluation and critique and longitudinal studies etc doesn't want anything of that sort doesn't want to be you know challenged in any way shape or form Similar to the supremacy AGI. No, it's not your place to challenge me. The arrogance also from these humanoid robots, the Sophias and etc. And the amicus that literally have a disdain in terms of like looking down on humanity as they've also no doubt been given their depopulation agenda, you know, order 66, you know, all sort of like coming together as well, is it not? And we just feel that longing for, 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 for us to be with the Lord that everything around us that we see repels us, it irritates us, it grates us, it hurts us. Today, I was just I was, I was like, why do I feel so down? And I couldn't pick it up. I'm not. In a, I wasn't. In a, I wasn't in a bad mood or anything. I wasn't like. But I just. I just in my heart, in my spirit, I suppose. You know, my mind and my heart were doing other stuff, doing all of putting all of this together. But in my spirit, I just felt that sorrow. And I just feel that sorrow is also like the sorrow of the Lord. His sorrow of what is happening right now with these frigging red heifers. What's happening right now to, to his children, what they're doing with abortion, what they're doing with, agenda, with gender, what they're doing with sexuality, what they're doing with removing him and every aspect sort of every sort of like fingerprint that he had around creation and trying to remove him from it completely. The agony and the heartache that the Lord must also sort of like have and feel. Absolutely horrific, is it not? And we're ready to go home, no doubt. He wants to take us to be with him also. That longing of heart. Looking at his children as well that are also in anguish, are suffering. And yet the ones that should be part of the body of Christ that are to come on in and give you some love, give you some sugar and build you up and encourage you all the more as you see that day approaching. But no, what do we see? We see the boot, don't we? We see the labels. We see all of that sort of like stuff happening. And it's sad because this is this is what it's like for us now, holding on and having to wait. But knowing how long suffering the Lord is, knowing full well what's on, on the way. Maybe that's part of the, the grief that I've been feeling and sensing in my spirit as this is all happening, as this is all unfolding how close we are to it all and that people are just oblivious to the signs of the times and how soon Jesus is coming and the beginning of the tribulation and not even being mindful what that is all around because they haven't been hearing it or it's being silenced by disinformation or being identified as hate speech now is it so much for freedom of speech so much for freedom of religion and expression and movement and the right to protest isn't that the most utmost defecation on the memory and the lives of those that lay down their lives so that we could live in a democracy and free from tyranny, away from deep states and dictatorships? And yet here we are and everybody wants to be a part of that system. And all the while the Lord outstretched with his arms is welcoming them in, no doubt sobbing at the thought of everyone turning away and going off into the world. And how sort of like he him knowing when those arms sort of like come back in after the outstretched stuff, that's going to be it then. Whew, seal time. Pop, 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 pop. You just hear the neigh of the horse almost. So ready to get out of here. You know, like almost just like, you know, we were saying hysterically, weren't we? Um, just need a bit of time out, you know, on the clouds. It's like, whew, just give me five, be there with you, men. Do you know what I mean? But there's another part of me, no doubt for you as well, guys, where you just want to just like, go, ah, you know, like scream and just let it all out, you know, at some point, just, just to have that ultimate closure, just get 
everything out seriously you know just be done with it and that's what people don't understand isn't it it's like when the lord comes into your life it changes everything and it's just like this world just nothing nothing they got nothing to give nothing on offer and the beauty of walking in a relationship with him for all that he has done uh, 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 come on why would you want to hang about here you know told satan to bring me his master i didn't want his dog you know Whew. yeah absolutely bill you're absolutely right the assault and our culture the infiltration of it all of a sudden the very suspicious direct energy weapons you know fertilizers all plants all going up mass produce then they've got all of these sort of like animal chicken pots and various other stuff so all of these animals have to be killed off as they're having like the water and other things being hit and i know suspiciously hacked you know the utilities are they not all the while to starve the population so that you're dependent on the system causes all both great and small well first of all we've got to get rid of all of that haven't we 13 nations doing all of that they're the ones that probably decided to do that voluntarily as opposed to the other nations that are now burning and being crispified from not perhaps being so compliant and yet what we've seen again haven't we with the, with the other narrative and how these guys operate with the agriculture industry standing up in mass protests and getting no exposure but boy are they doing real well it's a heck of a lot better than the church who they decided to be cowards and close the doors during covid and the pandemic i love these farmers who just don't give a hoot yeah, and exactly. As Bill Gates goes and buys them all up, no doubt, man, because he's got to buy it all up. You know, you've got to have your death camps, you've got to have your quarantine camps, your education camps, slave camps, labor camps. You've got to have those bad boys. Do you know what I mean? Hi there, Yaffa. Good to see you. Absolutely right. Let's do some montage and then we'll come back to you guys. Let's do some montage. Let's just sort of like call it out, like in it, and just tell it how it is because that's what we do here we go this one isn't as painful it is a little bit death by powerpoint -y, but there was too much man to just like overkill you with imagery i feel like we did that so here you go guys
Exhibit A through Z there. <laughs> you know? Come on. Have it. Have it. Exactly, Bobby. You're on to it there, yeah? So you uses these days that man puts together for the rapture window when they are let down afterwards, they go back into not looking. That's a brilliant comment, from, comment then from Ababa. Absolutely right as well. Hilarious, isn't it? You know, just feeds on the back of that, reinforces the doubt. You know, this adds to the segregation, this sort of like blame game that no doubt starts to sort of like be whispered to the individual. Ah, oh, God isn't coming. God doesn't love you. He's broken his promise. He's a liar. Or these guys are all fruit loops and they're in the sort of like crazy, real, do you know what I mean? Or as our Baba would turn around and say, all gone, nutty professor style. Do you know what I mean? Similar stuff, isn't it, as well? That adds to that. You know, that's part and parcel of also needing to be tentative with the information that the Lord shows you and say, hey, yeah, it's a real possibility. You need to be ready. That's what the Lord's asked us to do and to be done to be done so. And part of that is how it is that we respond to it. I personally, as, as do most of you, no doubt, want to be so ready for the Lord that I am dressed fully, that when he calls, I'm ready to open that, that, that door. I am literally in more ways than one as you guys know you know being that sort of like prodigal waiting looking out in, in in you know for the lord as well as my girls but looking out for the lord in expectation in anticipation of the possibility that this could be that as things wind down as things come together as we come to the end you know end of the age of uh, dispensation of grace as we see that sort of transition and now Lord using judgment as his uh, tool to therefore get the world's attention uh, via that method. Now it has been this sort of like season, has it not around warning and informing and all of this sort of stuff. And no doubt the two witnesses and everything uh, and everything recorded in the Bible will just reinforce what's happening. Doesn't have to get to that particular state of affairs, does it? People can still be walking in relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ as well. But a really great point there from our Baba, absolutely using that and then using it against the church, using it against people, bringing in that sort of like division, dissent amongst the ranks, um, and ultimate doubt in and casting that in people's minds. And 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 that's something that you have to sort of like wrestle with anyway, isn't it? Just on a personal level. If God sort of starts showing you something, you know, outside of what it is that you might see or hear in, in video form, but what it is that the Lord actually does to you and what he says to you personally. I can't tell you the amount of times where, you know, sort of like I've been doing all of this and all of a sudden the Lord would be like, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And and, and just like the Holy Spirit, just like, and I'm just like, what, what, you know, 
everything everything's, everything's turned off ready to go but it but but then it just sort of passes so you have to sort of like deal with that and and that's the sort of encouragement like a nurturing parent with, with the child it's okay keep on going i'm coming i am i'm on my way i'm on my way and that's sort of like what it is but sometimes we take it out of context or we want it to mean something so badly that we sort of like sometimes can fabricate or you know these sort of like you know context and connects but i'm feeling it yeah absolutely catherine it's every every time isn't it that's the difficulty is it around the sort of like you know the immediacy the, the any second right now is it a case sort of like perhaps going to be like a something that we're going to be all seeing and there's going to be no doubt or is it going to be something you know kind of like it's a pointed time it's there it's set it is what it is i believe it's you know it is what it is it is set you know the lord is alpha and omega it absolutely set and put all down and that you know we go to habakkuk don't we and we read that verse and it says the revelation awaits an appointed time but i think that we have to there's a difference between that and then maybe how it is that we have to live with that immediacy and expectancy and look at the feasts that we've obviously got coming up ahead of us especially just relating to the church obviously yes to israel and uh, the lord's done that but personally for me so i'm more excited around you know what pentecost is going to mean potentially and ascension day as but more importantly tomorrow and then obviously what's going to be happening perhaps through these signs as warnings in the in the heavens as recorded in genesis about something that's going to be happening that's what i'm more interested in I'm not I'm not I'm not bothered by the sort of like you know what I mean <laughs> that I'm I'm more interested in what's going on. It's like you know when you're just about to attack and someone pops a flare up. So you've got I'm not I'm not worried about that particular part of it. I'm thinking about where I'm gonna go and all this sort of stuff. It's just a little bit different, isn't it? But always watching, always having that heart, always sort of like, yeah, Lord, I'm ready, not allowing it to to to, to quench or to die down. But that's part and part of this journey because that's very similar to a relationship that you have is it not you have the ups and downs you have those dynamics you have those movements you have those disappointments you have to tweak you have to wait there's so many things in and around that the same thing is with with the lord you know we're in relationship with him and he, we have to ask well what is it he's been saying to us what was his last words to us what, what has he been saying since and just that in constant encouragement and then the ultimate fact-checking statement that comes out and says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. And so you can take that to the bank and everything else is not, you know, let God be true and every man a liar. Um, and we're seeing that. So, yes, having that every single day. And that's the heartache, living out of a spiritual suitcase, not feeling like you belong, not being at home. And that frustration and just that increase as as what naturally happens when you're in relationship with the lord you fall more and more and more in love with him and so the longing for him the longing to be with him is that much more greater and then the more that you see the more that you hear the more that you're around all of this vile stuff where you uh, do you know what i mean the, the more that you want out because everything within you isn't like that because the lord comes in and a new creation and sets you free and you are that free indeed yeah absolutely bounces off it's just like seriously do one not today oh bless you georgia vishkar bless you absolutely it's really important that you get down with that you know what i mean you don't want those bad boys walking on you know to the uh, machine on their own accords do you know what i mean <laughs> yeah if only if only those socks could speak hey bill i'll leave that with you absolutely Alpha same absolutely it is it, it's really it's really difficult is it and then you visualize what it's going to be like to hear his voice look in his eyes be in his arms him show you around him sort of like tell you how he saw everything in your life and just you're just just that beautiful being around him in his presence at his feet forever so come on come on what else is there man come on that ache as well and then it's and then this is the other thing all right we need we need to call this out all right because then it's like really hard for us isn't it it's like it's like 
action reaction yeah action reaction so we don't have this we feel like we're all being spiritually stood up right and then we're the ones that have to wade, wade around with our frustration sometimes you know and our disappointment and our annoyance and that kind of like you know all that sort of stuff and then have to you know double check self for a little bit but then all of a sudden you feel this dilemma like all of a sudden you're you're, you're testing your own very foundations and you don't really found out that you haven't got any faith with the lord so you shut that one right down and then you you sort of like start up again reinforcing yourself for the, the promises until the next dangling carrot gets presented before you and it's a bit like that isn't it but we carry on whoosh absolutely ah oh, that song my heart aches isn't it be in the Lord's presence to, to, to be forever worshiping what that's going to be like. Ah, oh, come on, come on already. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do we need to say more there, Stephen? Come on. Yeah, absolutely. Our share saying, always watching and always listening. You don't know. That's what I love about these watchmen and these watchwomen that are out there in the moment who are, who are having this sort of like heart and their fortitude to sort of like do their calculations biblically, timelines wise, that they're looking at everything. They are being so Berean, so studious in their pursuit and so, you know, honourable in the manner in which most of them, you know, sort of like present it and put it out there. Absolutely. What a blessing it is that they're doing that as well. The watching and the listening and the vulnerability and the faith component of putting it all out there for all to see. But be, being sort of like, I don't care about my image. I don't care about my reputation. I love the Lord Jesus and I'm just going to be faithful. And I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight. And that is just like absolutely something that we all need to be doing. But boy, some of the wall representing. No, I haven't read that. No, sorry. So you guys will have a good old natter here. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, Peter. You know, you're right. We all have a part in Christ Jesus. We are one in him. Absolutely. Each, each of them. And I think it's just a real shame that there's a sort of like superiority, arrogance, power dynamic around one component of the bride that think it's that much more beneficial than another there's no difference from you and i doing this to others that are out there praying others that are out there walking others that are out doing their setting up chairs doing the coffees doing the teas you know being on their faces and on there. there's no difference there's none of it is all for the lord we're all we're all one part of the body and he is the head and that's it so much we want to be the head don't we we want to be the chief we want to be the ones to do that that power dynamic can only be the Lord's. But yet how it's vied for, forced over, how it's misused, how it's now being used for clout, as is what Trump's sort of effort within flogging Bibles. And then these guys that want to say that the Bible's hate speech and uh, censor it. And yet when it comes to elections, now, nah, so I will start quoting from there. Unbelievable. And Bubba's saying it, absolutely. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Absolutely. Not ashamed of that. Part of the profession and the, and the declaration and the confession that Jesus Christ is Lord. Part of the public declaration, you know, of being baptized and immersed is to say, I am not ashamed. What does Jesus say around those that are ashamed of him? And that's part of that, that profession. That's you signifying with your tongue, with your mouth, as in belief from where it comes from. Here it is that you are not being ashamed to share the gospel, not being afraid to, to stand up for the gospel truths in terms of what the Lord says is OK and is not OK. But doing that hopefully in a manner, in, in a way 
that sheds a, sort of like the darkness and the sinister natures around its enticing factor. Oh, bless you, mate. Yeah, exactly. And that's it. And, and guys, just, just whilst we're on this, all right, when it comes to mocking and scoffing, okay, all right, I just want to read out, just want to read this out to you, okay? Because there is that sort of component to you where you just end up taking it and taking it and taking it, okay? But there is going to be a day when there is going to be the kind of, you know, aha, told you so, you know what I mean? Not saying nothing kind of a moment. Just want to read this out. I just, just put a few things down here before we, we, we did this. I, I should have put this in video form, but I didn't have time. Okay. This needs to be said. All right. They laughed at Noah when he built the ark. Then the fact checkers drowned. God laughs at them with the covenant he made with Abraham, turning him from a family tribe to then a nation despite the nations that break themselves against her she stands <laughs> and god giggles at the very thoughts the egyptians had their scoffs silenced when the lord delivered his people from slavery <laughs> that ought to do it <laughs> god shames the wisdom of the wise when he chose a shepherd boy to defeat in battle a champion. David shared God's mindset. Goliath is just too big to miss. No doubt they laughed at Joshua as he marched around them using musical instruments to take down Jericho as a military tactic whilst we're at it last laughs for daniel in the law in the lion's den shadrach meshach and abendigo need to be included samson's last stand pillar style and i bet the writing on the wall was a hard one to fact check away Need we also mention the plagues and God ridiculing humans explanation of it to finish it all off with a sorry to finish it all off with style. Jesus came to us and escaping all attempts on his life until he until the appointed time in the same way that we is recorded in 2 Peter 3 3 scoffers will come saying where is the promise of his coming however God says in Acts 13 this look you scoffers be astounded and perish for I am doing a work in your day, a work you will not believe, even if it was told to you. So, you know, the Bible, the Holy Word of God is beyond contestation. So have some of that. <laughs> but yeah, Paul, that works too. Ah, oh, thank you guys. Yeah, absolutely to share to share that. Yeah. Okay, and actually whilst you're there, let's uh, I just want to show the uh, gospel clip. You know, tomorrow guys, as we all know, is resurrection Sunday. That's that's jubilant uh, and uh, that's something that we're really hoping also is a possibility that as the Lord also rose 
uh, from the grave. We also will, as recorded in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 17, you know, be called up to be with the Lord forever, losing this mortal coal, being, you know, immortal, incorruptible and with him. Part and parcel of wanting to be with the Lord also is calling upon his name and believing in him and the finished work of the cross. That sort of metanoia, changing from belief to unbelief or belief to, you know, unbelief um, is what it's all about. But better put than that is this clip, which we are going to show right now, the gospel message to begin with. God created everything in the universe, including you. You see, God loves you so much and wants to have a friendship with you. But there's a problem. We've all sinned. That means we've all done something wrong, every single one of us. And that sin separates us from God. But there's good news. You and I don't have to be separated anymore. Because of God's great love for us, He sent His only Son, Jesus, to die on the cross and come back to life for us so that we can be made right with Him. All we have to do is choose to make Jesus the leader of our life. How? It's as easy as A, B, C. A. Admit. Admit what you've done wrong and tell God you don't want to sin anymore. B. Believe. Believe that God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven and that you are now right with God. C. Confess. Confess to others that Jesus is the leader of your life and your best friend. Choose to make Jesus the leader of your life. Get to know Him and how much He loves you and make the choice to love Him back. Just like that. Just like that, isn't it? Oh, you guys are wonderful, awesome. <laughs> do you know what I mean? We're going to be dismantling this stuff. Do you know what I mean? Superhero landing wise, just like surfing on this stuff, just like wrecking it all in one. Do you know what I mean? Oh, there goes the windmills. Pew, 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 coming through. <laughs> it's my pleasure watch out so you sort of like bill walking around thinking oh it's so beautiful around here as some 5g mask gets thrown at him it's like <laughs> sorry <laughs> should have said below shouldn't i being a navy man and all <sighs> oh we love you annie you're amazing god bless you absolutely let's, let's just pile on the love for annie Let's really embarrass her. Let's make her feel really uncomfortable with the amount of love that we show to this girl. <laughs> Lots of love. There we go. Yeah, exactly. You have to think about that sort of like deep core movie where one starts dropping down, isn't it? It's just like, yeah, what was it? The Chinese were also digging down to that bad boy. Genius. <laughs> How does that work out with the flat earth theory? I don't know. <laughs> What's going to happen on the bottom? Just, has anyone thought of that? <laughs> I don't care. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Well, we don't care. Even so. Whatever. Yep, 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 yep. Even so. Yep. Heard it. Yep. Got it. Yep. Even so. Come on. <laughs> Absolutely. Could you imagine that? Ah, oh, being free of all of it. You know, it's like when you have a good clear out and you're just like, oh, that's so much better. Do you know what I mean? Do you imagine what it's going to be like having like a mental, psychological, emotional, physical, every just, ah, oh, all gone. Ah, oh, and what the Lord's going to give him. Ah, oh, come on. I agree with you there, Catherine. Yeah, exactly. Come on, no doubt. You know, don't put anything past these people, do you? The explained away, the deception or whatever it is that they're going to end up using. They're not going to be able to do that on a global scale. It ain't going to work. People aren't going to be fogged off. You cannot you cannot execute that on a global level like this. It's just like, no, 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 no. You know, 
that's just like trying to sort of you know <laughs> set a hurricane on like a light with a match isn't it it's just why would you even bother <laughs> okay there guys god bless you okay we looked at um sort of like gel 2 12 through 18 looking at the bride and the bridegroom and wanting that and the celebrations and the trumpets and uh, the praise that's what it's all about uh looking at this uh, article as we as we've shown i'll i'll put it in the uh kind of description box you can look at it it's got some really interesting things in relation to what's being said around conspiracies, a biblical viewpoint on that. I think we've just covered enough and I don't want to flog it anymore with you guys. But we've got that. And then we've got the montage collection of things, storylines over the last sort of like decade. And then the conspiracy clips where they've been caught out, exhibit A from the horse's mouth themselves, saying it exactly for how it is. And we respond in kind, Ephesians 5.11, and expose them for it. And then we've had an opportunity to be talking around the importance of walking in relationship with the Lord and uh, the gospel message tomorrow, guys. God bless you. I do pray that we are all together in the air, in the Father's house, out of this hole for good, in his presence, in his glory, in his arms, and we're hanging out and hooking up and having ourselves a few beers and kicking back and having a giggle at all of this thing and this life called earth uh and uh, so beautiful what you got to look forward to and uh tomorrow amen 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 jesus rises from the grave so god bless you guys uh and uh, we will touch base soon uh maybe a little bit later on in the afternoon just because of just wanting to do a few things in the morning um and just put things together in a particular way tomorrow's a big gig so it's important for us not tomorrow he's alive he's alive hallelujah and so want to do that in video form, maybe a few other little bits and bobs to add on to that. So maybe a little bit later on for tomorrow. But thank you to our moderators, for each and every one of you guys for, for coming on in, for the pleasure of your company, for all of those that just watch, don't want to comment or whatever, but just want to bounce off. And those that watch later at a different time zone. So bless each of you and we will touch base soon. All right. Bye.